All right, welcome back. YouTube taking some heat for confusing video of the Notre Dame fire to the 9-11 terror attacks? Yeah, this was going all around yesterday. Carly Shimkus with Fox News Headlines 24-7, Sirius XM 115. Here with the backlash. A lot of people were upset about this, Carly. Yeah, good morning, guys. So some people watching live footage of the Notre Dame fire on YouTube were left wondering why it included a link here uh, to more information on the 9-11 terror attacks. Now, the video sharing platform is apologizing, blaming it on a technical glitch, saying we are deeply saddened by the ongoing fire at the Notre Dame Cathedral. These panels, meaning the 9-11 terror attack information panel, are triggered algorithmically and our systems sometimes make the wrong call. We are disabling these panels for live streams related to the fire. So this issue, like you said, Jillian, became a big topic of conversation on social media yesterday. Michael saying, I imagine they have video recognition software that simply isn't very good. Another Twitter user chiming in saying, as if we didn't need another example of what society Society is up against algorithms. Anonymous people on Twitter both hinder the truth. So uh, they did face a lot of backlash for this and have since apologized. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of these online sites have a hard time when there's big things going on. Yeah, yeah. especially things that are coming in live. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Big issue. All right, so let's talk about limiting social media. That's right. So she once gave a lesson to other lawmakers about how to post an effective tweet, but now social media star Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says she is going to be limiting her use of social media. Take a listen. I personally gave up Facebook. Uh, I actually, which was kind of a big deal because I started my campaign on Facebook and Facebook was my primary digital organizing tool. I actually think that social media poses a public health risk to everybody. It's very addictive, isn't it? So this has social media, of course, buzzing. One person says, yeah, right, her biggest audience is through social media. Another Twitter user says, let's see how long she stays off. And lastly, one tweet coming in saying, without social media, where would she be? Ocasio-Cortez says she's gonna try and stay off Twitter on the weekends. She has about four million Twitter followers, so hmm. quite the following there. Interesting. Don't blame her for getting off Facebook. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Satan's lair. Uh, all right, let's talk about uh, El Tigre. Tiger yes. Woods, he what a is weekend, going to and it's going to go even further. Yeah, that's right. He's going to have to carve out a little bit of time in his busy schedule to head to the White House. Take a look at this tweet from President Trump saying, spoke to Tiger Woods to congratulate him on the great victory he had in yesterday's at the Masters and to inform him that because of his incredible success and comeback in sports, parentheses golf, and more importantly, life, <laughs> I will be presenting him with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So many people on social media calling it a well-deserved honor. Lori says one of the greatest comebacks uh, of all time. He deserves it. The Presidential Medal of Freedom is, of course, one of the nation's highest civilian honors, and he is getting it. I love how he had to, you know, make clear it was golf. Yes, yeah. that's right. Uh, Carly, <laughs> Contrary so to popular belief, Tiger Woods is not a football player. That's <laughs> He's right. not. That's right. All right, Carly, thanks so much.